You may not know this, I'm sure he doesn't either, but it's National Dog Bite Prevention Week. And that's a good thing because such bites are a f the third leading cause of emergency room visits for children. To help us understand this, we have this rescued pup. He's called Mikey and he's, uh, he's lovely. And we also have Dr. Catherine Miller. She's the Director of Anti-Cruelty Behavior Research for the ASPCA. Um, thank you very much for joining us and thanks for bringing Mikey. I, 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 sort of believed that he was going to be a reformed biter, but he's not. He's, he's never been a biter. You know, dogs of any size and any breed can bite. Um, it's important to not generalize and stereotype. We, pit bulls and Rottweilers get a bad rap, but the ASPCA advocates people looking at a dog as an individual and his I'm individual back history. To you, yes. He's actually a little bit distressed oh, um, here. Right. Um, I guess is. I'm a cat person, really. <laughs> um, but he, he, he's absolutely lovely. So when you have, um, when, you, when you approach a dog, why is it that uh, children get bitten more than adults? Children uh, have movements and sounds that uh, could be distressing to dogs if dogs aren't used to kids. They, they have jerky, excited movements, they squeal, they might not be as gentle as a dog would like. Um, and kids often rush in and pet a dog without asking permission. So the first thing is if you want to pet a dog, which how could you not want to pet Mikey, <laughs> is first you ask permission. So uh, Dr. Miller, can, can, I, can I pet my, Mikey? Uh, and and if, I, if I may, so then what should I do? Um, let him smell my hand. Yes, hold out your hand to ask permission of the dog whether you can pet Wait, him. He's not interested right now, and we've actually done this before. So presuming he'd sniffed me and seemed okay, then, then, then we can give him a little pet on, on the head. Mm -hmm. what, what should you be doing if, if the dog actually does go for you and bite? What do you do then? Remember not to run and scream. That just encourages a dog to chase and um, potentially bite you. So be still, be a tree, which means stand still, Put your eyes um, to the ground. Look so at your don't feet. look the dog in the Do eye. Do not stare the dog in the eye, which can be a threatening gesture. Just look straight down. Fold your arms in front of you, or hold them straight by your sides. Okay, and and if and if you get knocked down by the dog, and it would be unlikely with a dog this size, uh, but if it's a big dog, um, a Rottweiler, say, and you got knocked down, what do you do then? You put you put your hands behind your head and sort mm -hmm. of um, ball up like a like a fetus. That's right. Curl into a ball. Interlock your fingers behind your neck to protect your neck and your face. Okay, and uh, do, very quick. Quickly, ad adults should monitor their kids. Don't let the kids be with the dog unless you're there too. That's right. Always be an advocate for your child as well as the pet. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Miller. Thank you very much, Mikey.